Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you've got balls anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, Hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> Why, that'd be enough. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. 
He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
and rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Shall Leave me alone, help? Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Let's talk about this! I was doing just fine by myself! Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! I don't have to answer to you! Come on, you ain't stupid! You can see this is crazy! You're the crazy one! For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute! This is none of your damn business! Oh, you little jackhead. Sorry, mister. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? All right, easy now. talking about you ain't no killer you don't know who i am come on Stop! 
let's talk about this. I was doing just fine by myself. Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. You pop up out of nowhere? Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. This is none of your damn business. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Yeah. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. I don't have to answer to you. your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Yeah. I didn't ask for your help. Just hold up a minute. I was doing just fine by myself. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I don't have to answer to you. Yeah. Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. Just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute! I was doing just fine by myself! Just stop and let's talk about this! This is crazy! You're the crazy one! Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! This is none of your damn business! It's okay, girl. Little jackass. Sorry, mister! Damn it! We gotta do this the hard way! 
What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now, calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know... There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Oh, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. Don't touch me. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home. For you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you.
I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Just wanna get a drink. Get clear! Give a fellow a nickel! Let's go, girl. Real hungry here. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing.
Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum. Ah! Come on, Arthur! I'd be just... You wait! Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. Let's get him. Keep moving, Arthur. God damn maniac. Should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? Send them all out. Come on. Everything you got. We should be long gone by now. They got something of mine I ain't leaving without. Who? I fight it till I'm dead. I don't go down that easy. Woman, like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny, get out here. Skinny, it ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Put this on him now. I got more. Now we're close, Morgan. Oh. Finish it. Come on. This way. Yeah? Who wants to see me hang now? Take him down! Where are you going now? You want to get out of here? Let's get to those horses, Morgan. Go! Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here?
before we get any more on our tail. That was some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Whoa, 